Hello, welcome to Abundant August, and today we're going to talk about a hard topic, forgiveness. And um, so Gabriel, can you start the conversation about the interplay between forgiveness and abundance? Yeah, I think it's super important because um, the opposite of forgiveness is you hold on, you are resentful, and it's limiting you. It's limit. It's not that you're kind of like limiting the other person, but not like, but you're limiting yourself. You're keeping yourself shut, and, and and also it's like, it's like it's an expression of scarcity, because like I do not have enough resources to forgive. Like, or well, the other one is not good enough to deserve uh, my forgiveness. Mm. Um, Grace, what are your thoughts? Mm, I like both of those ideas. Um, so yeah, when you carry it. It's, it's like uh, you're carrying it, expecting that you're going to hurt the other person, but really you're hurting yourself. But the uh, positive emotions that you're, you know, keeping from yourself <laughs> restricts abundance in your own life. Um, and so there's a, there's a, there's some, in forgiveness, there is release of that emotional baggage um, it allows you to have emotional freedom, um, to not be bound by whatever that negative stuff is, whether it's, you know, some real harmful thing that was done to you or some minor transgression. What forgiveness does is allow you to experience more joy, more peace, more contentment. And so, it's certainly a part of that abundance mindset that we've been talking about all month. So it, it sort of nurtures it. It allows you to stop dwelling on the past, look forward to the future, to look for opportunities, growth, positive outcomes, and let go of the negative people, the negative circumstances, the negative stuff that binds you to the past. Um, and so... Um, in addition to all that, it improves relationships. If you're not a grudge holder, then maybe you are able to have more um, fruitful relationships. And so there are so many beautiful things that come from forgiveness that it sort of makes you wonder why we are so apt to hang on and walk in unforgiveness. Um, so yeah, what, what are you, what is your call to action for today? Oh my gosh, this is such a big topic. It's like, what could one call to action be? I think it's just to get started on the process and to maybe look for resources that help to let go. If it's a big thing, it might be helpful to get help for that, to process it. If it's a small thing, maybe it's just as easy as a decision. Okay, I'm going to let go. But uh, certainly there's things in life where we've felt hurt, where we need to process emotions. Mm. And I think it's, it could, I mean, just make the decision to get started on, on the process of, of, yes, I want to let go. Let me see how I can do that. Mm, love I mean, that. Start. Well, thanks for listening. Have a wonderful uh, day. Um, we'll look forward to talking to you again soon. Bye. 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 Thank you.